Hey what's up, it's Chris from Brooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to sing in slow motion. So let's get into it. Being able to sing in slow motion while staying in time with the track is a cinematic effect that is most commonly seen within music videos. But how is it achieved? The effect is actually much easier than it appears, it just requires a bit of practice from the artist. So you first want to start off by speeding up your track. Now I typically like to speed up the track by 200%, so that's double time. But if the track contains a lot of lyrics or is a fast paced track anyway, then this might cause your artist some real difficulties. So just try to speed up the track as much as you can. Now the next step is the actual process of shooting your footage. Play back the track in double time on set and get your artist to perform to the music. Just make sure that you set your camera to 60 frames per second so you can slow the footage down in the edit. This effect looks even more epic when there's more movement within the frame. In this example you'll see that I was using two smoke flares to really show off the effect, but feel free to get creative. So once we have our footage it's now time to get this onto the computer and get it synced up to the track. So let's get into it. Okay so once we've loaded up Adobe Premiere we're just going to import the footage so we're just going to double click or right click if you're on Windows and import. Okay, so once you find your footage, you're just gonna press import, and then we're just gonna create a new sequence. So we're gonna go up to file, new sequence, and we're just gonna call this slow motion. We're gonna go over to the settings tab, and we're gonna make sure that the time base is 23.976 frames per second. The frame size is 1920 by 1080. We've got square pixels, and then we're good to go. Okay, so now that we've got our sequence, we're just gonna import our file. Okay, and now we need to import our music that we performed to. So this is the original version, not the sped up version. So you're just gonna go over to your finder and you're just gonna drag that in. Okay, so once that has been imported, you can also drag that onto your timeline. Okay, so a typical camera will shoot in 48 frames per second and then you have the option of slowing that down in the edit. So you go to speed duration and you would select 50%. Okay, so once you've adjusted the speed, you now need to sync this up to the music. Now this will be fiddly because you're going to have to go through and look at the mouth movement and try and match that up with the correct lyric in the song. Okay, so if you sync that up correctly, you should now be performing in time with the track. So to take this effect even further, I would color grade this effect. So I would go over to effects, search for Lemetri, drag Lemetri color on top of the footage and we're just going to add basic corrections so I'm just going to add the Alexa default and then I'm just going to adjust the levels because that's a bit bright so I'm just going to drag that underneath the Lemetri layer we're just going to pull down the gamma pull up the white input and then I'm just going to add a little bit of saturation in there so I'm just going to go over to the fast color corrector drag that in between the levels and the Lemetri color and we're just going to pull the saturation up to around 160. Perfect. So to make this look even more cinematic I'm going to add some anamorphic bars on top of the footage. Now as you can see I shot in widescreen but adding these anamorphic bars will make the footage look even more cinematic. So to do this we want to go over to our project and we're just going to press this new item icon and we're just going to select a new black video and we're just going to press OK. Now we're just going to drag that on top of that layer and we're just going to do that once more. We're going to select both of these black video layers and we're going to go over to our effects tab and search for crop. Drag the crop on top of both of these then you're going to go over to the top layer and adjust the crop on the top to 85% and you're going to adjust the crop on the bottom layer to 85% and there you go there's the anamorphic bars completed. The slow motion singing effect is a very cinematic effect and when done correctly it can really help to add a lot of production value and professionalism to your films or your music videos. What 
And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to press the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most amazing day today. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.